Okay, good morning. Hi, good morning, everybody. Thank you morning. for joining us today. Um, my name is Sharon. I'm your host today. Uh, with me today are my colleagues, uh, Fan Batong. You want to say good morning to everyone? <laughs> cloud Advocacy and Josephine Tan, who is our cloud sales expert. Hey, why don't you say hello morning. to them? Morning. Thank you, morning, everyone. Okay, I hope you're staying safe wherever you're logging in from. And uh, I want to inform you that we have the chat box uh, open and uh, for you to chat with us throughout the webinar. I hope that this will be a two-way communication. We are live today. So why don't you type in your name and tell me where you are coming from? Okay, I'd like to see your name. Yes, Celine. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Hey, Batong. <laughs> Hello. Yes. We can have more people typing in your name. And uh, Josephine also type her name there. Yes. Thank you. Oh, we have another Josephine from Singapore too. Welcome. Okay, don't be too shy. Uh, it's a two-way communication throughout the webinar. Uh, just feel free to type in whatever come uh, you are thinking about or the question that you have. Uh, we really want to know uh, how the session is going in for you. So I think with that, I will start. Uh, you know, with COVID-19, you know, things are different for all of us, I'm sure. Okay, we are impacted in some ways. And yet life must go on. And I'm sure the project that you are, hold, you are working on must go on too. So today we are going to learn together how to deliver projects on time and under budget. That's the theme of our webinar today. So before we start, I really like to do a poll. Uh, to really, uh, it's really asking you a question, but because you are in webinar, so I do this poll, okay? So do you use a project management software today? The answer is very easy for you. Just click yes or no. That's all. Very easy. Okay. Can you all please, uh, you know, uh, put in your answer? Okay. I hope I can get uh, when... Uh, when the people have done the poll, uh, maybe we can see the results. Uh, okay, anyway, I read, uh, you know, I read a statistics that say that 77% of high performing projects uses a project management software. Wow, that is great, right? So, is now my next question is, is your project management software online today or, or not? Because with COVID-19, with the restricted movement, I think we kind of need the project management to be online, right? So I thought that um, whether, you, you know, uh, your, your, the project management software you have today currently is online or not, you know, it doesn't matter. I, we welcome you to join us. Let's explore together the new possibility for you to do real-time do real collaboration using 3D as the universal language. And I'm so excited to say that, you know, we have our global team to do a um, demonstration for us to witness how to collaborate globally. Okay, with that, I, uh, I ask my global team to take over. Welcome everybody. Thanks for joining our webinar. Welcome to the session where you discover how to deliver projects on time and under budget. We're going to present that session from our 3D Experience Cloud. Uh, let me quickly introduce the speakers to you. Um, let me start with my colleague Sidat in France. Good day, Sidat. Uh, 
Good day, Maximilian. So this is Sadash Sharma joining us from France live. And let me also introduce to you Alessandro Tolio in Italy. Hello, Alessandro. Good day, everyone. It's nice to be here. And you got myself. My name is Max, and I'm joining you guys from Germany. So let me hand over to Sida to kick off the session and give you a, an introduction. Thank you, Maximilian. So well, to start off with, let me show you an image. So what you see in the screen is an important reminder of how far we have come. Well, this was the first evidence of existence of any of Hauer glass in Europe from 1338. It was the first tool to manage time. And over the period of, over the period of years, we did a transition and we moved from managing just time to managing time, budget, resource data, which we today know as project management. While initial form of project management concepts were believed to be used during the constructions of Asian wonders, such as Egyptian pyramids, Taj Mahal, or even construction of railway systems at that time. However, the project management as we know today, which is modern project management, took really the shape in early 90s with the introduction of Gantt chart, waterfall techniques, and so on. While those existing tools were good enough to land men on moon, even bring them, back home safe, bring them home safely, they may not be enough for the type of projects that we manage today or will be managing in future. Now in front of us, we have projects that involves making bigger structures in the world, modern marvels, extreme engineering, creating a modern city from scratch or developing new mode of transportations. The world has only become more complex with more demand of complex product and the even more complex development, higher competition delivering quick projects, more with more business disruptions. We have more and more challenges in front of us if we are using our own management project management techniques. Well, Today in front of us, we have four key challenges that enterprises faces today with their uh, while managing projects uh, with their old uh, project management techniques. And the first one is the connectivity. In the era where massive business disruption can happen anytime, like COVID, no matter where we are at home, at construction site, at airport, every stakeholders need to have access to all the information associated with project anytime, anywhere on any device. However, what happens today Multidisciplinary teams are using disconnected tools in order to perform their domain related activities. They are being performed in different silos and this separation of process tools often leads to serial approach to product development and projects, making it even more difficult to identify common tasks, goals of the project. Second is the speed. Today in this competitive environment, companies are required to get their product faster to the market than ever before with high quality on time under budget. We often see that project managers are often disconnected from the actual work being performed. Ideally, with the disconnected tools, they have to perform days of verbally and manually communicated updates between a doer and a manager that adds a lot to the non-value added task. And when there are a lot of non-value added tasks, there is a reduction of speed. And when there is a reduction of speed, it adds cost on the top. The third challenge is, complexity with projects getting complex like the ones we saw big buildings big project creating city from scratch or modern transportation systems it is making harder for the project members to understand how their task relates to one or more requirements that must be fulfilled and in turn they might lose a sight of project goals altogether even with project managers due to lack of real-time updates of project project status in complex projects Sometimes they fail to fully investigate why task is late or even why ta which task require his or her attention actions immediately. And thus often lose an opportunity to identify potential problems that may arise in future. The fourth challenge is the time and budget. Well, balancing time and budget is a basic tenet of any project management we know from the past which are always constrained by scope, schedule, available resources. Today, so many projects are late, over budget. Many of them are challenged to remain successful, but, and, uh, but again, crossing the budget and the cost limit. And this is becoming because scope, schedule, resources are often managed in different silos on disconnected systems and processing tools. 
thus making it very difficult for project managers to adapt to the changes with the changes in the requirements, which in turn leads to overshooting the budget and loss of time. Well, if these challenges are not managed properly, which is the case today, because of disconnected system, lack of universal language, so many manual non-value added activities, this may lead to higher percentage of errors in the execution of tasks. That also means it will lead to higher cost due to lack of synchronization between scope schedules and resource. A reduction in productivity due to lack of proper visibility on project tasks, risk, and lack of real-time updates. In the end, all these factors may even lead to higher percentage of project failures. And this is a vicious cycle that adds up to the budget of a project and can turn any blossoming project to a failed one. So, so we need to change this traditional approach of working in silos with these disconnected systems and tools. We need to have an approach that take care of all challenges that we just saw. Well, in order to make sure that your project bear fruits of success for your enterprise, we have a 3D experience platform for your business needs which act as a universal language and a single source of truth for all the multidisciplinary teams in the entire course of the projects and programs. Whether you are managing big projects, portfolios, programs involving hundreds of people spread across the world, or even smaller teams in startups, 3D Experience Platform has got you covered. It offers seamless communication collaboration across multidisciplinary teams to achieve common goals of projects by empowering them with a centralized, connected, up-to-date data that will lead them to execute project to its perfection, under budget and on time. And to demonstrate that, how does the platform helps you to deliver projects on time under budget? We decided to show you a multidisciplinary collaboration executed on 3D Experience Platform on cloud animated by three rows from three different countries. And the scenario, the first one is the program manager represented by Maximilian joining us from Germany. Myself Siddharth will take the role of designer joining from France and Alessandro who is in charge of project manager, project manager management joining us from Italy. In the demonstration, we will show you how we all connect together on the platform, on the cloud and carry out four key aspects social collaboration where we will demonstrate how we transform a piece of information and idea into a complete product then we will uh, we will carry out a high level project management and governance to analyze projects assess performance using project management application for our program manager and project manager in addition to that we will provide and create a team based planning to execute tasks in order to achieve those milestones using project planning application. Then you will see that this is executed from the web-based design widgets that will carry out those design modifications on the product. Finally, all those task executions using multi-devices will be showcased to you for such collaborative project management. While playing those scenarios, all of our activities during the social collaboration, as you can see on your left side, and the project task execution coming from task and data will be enriching the KPIs for our program managers and project managers in real time on all their devices up with up-to-date data. During the demonstration, we will cover the following highlights. We will show you how we improve collaboration between different stakeholders, even though we are connected from three different countries. Productivity gains by leveraging universal definition for all stakeholders. Faster task execution through multi-device approach. Agility by adjusting to the plan quickly. Full visibility and traceability by remaining connected to the most updated data, tasks, KPIs, and goals. And finally, complete alignment from high-level project from for high, from high-level project manager till designers. And with that, 
I will All right. I'm logging in as a program manager right here, and I would like to remind everybody that the recording will be available later. What you see on screen is my dashboard, and I was notified about a highlight that was popping up in one of my communities where I listen in. And immediately it struck me that the mobile uh, that the voice control devices are skyrocketing in sales. So I'm taking that idea. I inform other people about that highlight and then quickly connect that highlight to one of the ideas that we are working on in context of our COVID prevention team. So what you see on screen is that I link a loose task now to an existing idea where we work on touchless interactions already, where we're trying to consolidate all the topics around how to remove touch how to remove areas of disinfectant, and how to decrease the risk of getting infected in the office. So as you see now, the idea is now connected to the post that Alessandro shared with me. And I'm now able to also point other people loosely in a social collaboration type of approach to that idea. So here I include Sidat as he's a designer that he might want to put some thought into that and maybe create a quick draft for me that I'm able to communicate in 3D. So as a designer, I am always connected to the platform from my multiple devices in order to remain flexible. So ideas can come anytime. So I quickly create some sketches on my mobile using 3D sketch application. And with that, I basically share uh, as a post in the community that can be shareable with anyone and I can use them later in the future. Once we got a draft created from Sidat on his mobile, I also promote my idea and go into a concept state. So out of an idea, we are starting now to formalize that thought into something that will become a project and will become maybe a prototype later on. So I notify the project team about the move to concept, and then I'll basically promote the idea into a project planning phase. So once Maximilian tagged me, I receive a real-time message on my mailbox. So I quickly log in into the platform and access the idea into the community. Then I tag the program manager, Maximilia, and share my previously created sketch with the current idea, which is the most relevant one, so that other relevant actors also who might be interested in this can use them. This ensures collaboration with everyone and a full alignment before moving forward in this project. It also ensures if any new member wants to join this initiative, we'll be aware of what's being discussed via simple sketch acting as a universal language. I'm now back on the screen and I'm seeing what CDAT has shared with me because I will get a notification also in the platform, so we do not rely on email for that. As we said, the sketch is now also connected to the idea where I shared the post before. I can quickly click on that sketch and review the design in 3D. As a reminder, 3D here acts as a universal language now, so we all understand exactly what we are talking about, and we can capture our thoughts that you may not easily get on paper while just using 2D. As I'm convinced about the idea overall, I'm pinging our project manager to really take action here. So I notify him, I promote our idea into another phase that we call project plan in that case, and push that formally forward. So I informed all the stakeholders and hand it over. So as I'm working from home, I log into the 3D Experience platform and I see two notifications here. Maximilian has mentioned me in my idea. So I can join the discussion. I can have a look at Cedar's 3D sketch, which I didn't see before, and I'll leave a comment on that. I also see that Maximilian is officially asking me to move to a project plan phase. So I'm going to create a high-level project uh, plan for that. To do so, I go into this overall project tab, which is our single entry point for all project stakeholders in order for them to get, uh, to get a real time update on the high level status of all activities related to this uh, 
touchless interactions thematics. So as you can see, we're organizing activities at the high level uh, planning with milestones only. I can open the details of our master project here and I'm welcomed by this nice dashboard, which is giving me all of the KPIs, which I need as a project manager in order to drive all of these activities and make sure we stay on time and under budget. So I can get to the schedule view from which I can get all of the details of the sub projects, which are part of this master project. And I'm going to add a previously created container, this project, Touchless Eco.Revamp, which was created from a template. So we are leveraging company-wide standard reuse. This is built up with three milestones as well. I'm going to open the details of this project, officially kickstarting this to the to-do state. Moving to schedule view, I see there's one task here, the first one, which is asking me to assign managers to the related milestones. So I switch to this uh, nice assignment view and I can see all of the project team members who are actually our managers. So I send them easily with just a few clicks. I go back to the task scheduling view in order to complete uh, the first task. So has, have you, you have seen uh, this project management application is giving me all the tools that I need as a project manager to stay sure we deliver on time and under budget. However, in order to promote agile collaboration among our team members, we are going to organize the detail level tasks using another application, application, which is the project planning that you see right now. So I'm creating a new project plan, copying the schedule from a previous project plan that was successful. So again, we are leveraging on um, established experience, knowledge. And then I'm going to link this project plan to the high level planning which uh, was consisting of milestones only, in order to make sure that the detailed tasks are, uh, the, the, this, that planning is coherent with the high level planning. The project manager here, I'm going to add Maximilian, so he has a program manager, can get all of the needed KPIs in order to assess the status of our tasks. From the members view, I can add my project team members with a user group, which is actually shared across all platforms applications. So I make sure that all the stakeholders of my project get the right access to the correct information. From the schedule view, you can see on top, uh, I, I get the milestones of the high level planning pushed to this scheduling here, to this Gantt chart. And I can easily drag and drop uh, the scheduling in order to make it compliant with the high level planning. I now need to assign people to the detailed tasks. So from this assignment view, I get the view on all tasks coming from all of my projects. And I change the context of the collaborative task widget in order to only see the newly created ones. On the right hand side, I pin some people based on skills so I can improve my productivity and the overall project productivity by making sure that the right people are assigned to the correct task and we deliver on time. I assign people via drag and drop, and then I also assign myself to some of them, the deliverables check uh, tasks, in order to make sure that uh, all the deliverables are okay before release. I then check this basic design task here, and I want to add an attachment to it in order to ease CDOT's work. So I'm going to search for all of the geometries present of, on our 3D experience platform. And I can quickly get to the needed geometry, which CDAR will use by filtering it with a proper tag. I click OK, and then I save the modification to the tasks. And I hand over to Sid again. So once I logged in, I basically, I quickly check the notifications I generally receive on project tasks. And once I am sure on what I need to work on, I quickly go to project plan and access that task in the Kanban view that requires my immediate attention. And to do it uh, quickly, I use 6W tab to visualize them in simple color codes by seeing how many tasks are assigned to me in simple basic color codes. It empowers me to take accurate decisions and identify assigned tasks. So I quickly pull up the first task, which is requirement definition. 
and as it is as the requirement is coming from uh, IGR, so first I move it to Inva, then I quickly access it. Uh, the idea from the community on my right hand side that needs to be attached to this task. So to do that, I basically drag and drop the idea in the attachments and save it for for for, for and save it for the future. Now to proceed with the next task, which is the basic design task, I quickly navigate myself to a personal design dashboard where I filter project task from the regular task that I'm assigned to. Be able to filter project associated task with color codes provides me easy visibility on the actionable items. So once my project is selected and its associated task is selected, I open the design task. I quickly read the descriptions and move this task to in work in order to proceed with the modification and completion and actionable task on actionable items on this task. In order to do that, I quickly go to the attachments and I drag and drop the product in the web-based design application called X Generative Design to carry out my design modification. So here you can see it has already some parameters which were added previously, hence uh, helping me to leverage the previously modified definition. So I quickly create a new variant on this design and proceed ahead to modify uh, the number of buttons that needs to be reduced down. Then I change quickly some other features such as colors, size of strip to make the color schema more elegant and then modifying the output for the requirement of higher power out, power port size. Once I'm satisfied with my initial design, I can quickly do a 360 degree review of the product. And once uh, I'm done with that, I quickly save it in the back background. While I'm saving, I quickly move the same product uh, which was input to the task to the deliverable so that all my successors can, uh, can know on which data they need to collaborate. And, and this way it will help them to, to have one access. Now being a platform for all, it adapts to everyone's taste. And while I can complete the task on my desktop, I can also do it from my home and I continue to work on those tasks on an iPad that I have access to from my home. By accessing my personal dashboard, which is personal work management. So I quickly access my appropriate task by filtering them out using 6W tab and select the project where I need to perform my immediate actions, which is touchless eco dot revamp. So the first task that I need to complete is the requirement task. And to do that, I need to attach a deliverable. And for that, I leverage the bookmark editor where I classify all my data I'm uh, using for the project very easily on the platform. So I quickly access that document bookmark and get the final spec of eco dot and attach it as a deliverable. Once that is done, I can quickly save my task and move it to the completed phase. Then, then in order to benefit from my fellow colleagues and expert, I access my latest up-to-date modified data from the basic design task, which is available in the deliverables. So I quickly open it in a new application, which is 3D Play app to do a quick review on the new modifications that I've created, but also add some useful annotations to highlight the key features that I want to show it to different teams, such as marketing. So here I quickly uh, activate the view and start adding the annotations uh, that for which I want to have uh, some kind of feedback from the experts. This may include adding a space for an icon or a sticker uh, involving specially for this special edition uh, version and annotation on the special fluorescent color schema that I want to introduce in this new design. Once done, I can basically share it in a dedicated community to gather more feedback from the experts. It can be a manufacturing community or a marketing community, but here I choose to share it with the expert designers community in order to get their vision and, and their feedback so that I can create the best possible version of product by incorporating view of wider audience 
who are not prob probably directly participating in the project. Once done, I quickly publish and complete the task by dragging it in the completed phase. I quickly access the post where I created and shared uh, the annotations on my new design I was working on and tag relevant experts to share this first impression even with bigger audience to which they have access to. This ensures inclusivity for everyone to participate to make the plan and a product a great success for our team, for our project. All right. As you've seen that a lot of the project execution is done in background, I just need to review my dashboard to see the progress. I do not need to check my mails regularly, call people if I don't want to, and really see the invisible execution that happens in background. In the Kanban style view, I can easily access the tasks that have been completed by my colleagues, in this case, CDAT. And as deliverables are clearly identified, I'm able to review them from here to make sure that what he delivered is still in accordance to spec, fits my need, or is suitable for any further downstream actions. It also allows me that any subsequent task, which I'm going to kick off later, is based on these deliverables. So I do not spend more time on searching my data, finding it as all the dots have been connected already by CDAT or anyone else who is executing on the platform. As a reminder, 3D always remains the universal language that everybody can understand. And here I'm reviewing now the final design that CDAT promoted and feel pretty confident about it. Based on this, I'm able to make an educated decision and take the idea and really try to invest money and go into a prototype phase. So out of courtesy, I involve all the people that are required for this and um, use the ad feature to put them in the loop and really formalize that idea to kick off the prototype phase. After promoting the idea in the social collaboration aspect, I use the same dashboard to kick off all the individual tasks that now needs to happen about the detailed design, about the scope alignment, and of course, about the prototype creation itself. All right. I will hand over to Sid again to talk about the conclusion. So uh, we saw today how three of us collaborated on the 3D experience platform for, from a, for a common goal right from discussing a basic idea in a community up to delivering the design while being, uh, while being connected from three different countries. Through this demonstration, you saw by executing your projects on 3D experience platform, you can achieve improved collaboration through its streamlined communication where everyone working towards the same definition and remains on the same page towards a common goal. Higher productivity by eliminating non-value added tasks for project managers who are always updated with the latest up-to-date KPIs and data on projects and sub-projects. Faster execution with everyone contributing in real time it improved speed to get work done. Less time in meeting means more time to do work. That means getting things more done more quickly. Increase agility, being able to access latest up-to-date data from anywhere, anytime on any device allows all stakeholders to be more reactive than ever before. Full visibility, thanks to real-time information that ultimately helps to bring effective and accelerated decision-making like we saw for our project managers and program manager. In the end, by connecting dots from an unstructured discussion in a community to the project phase up, till, up, up to a prototype phase, we have a complete alignment where everyone is aligned from strategy till execution as they continue to work to, to, together to execute, optimize, adjust, and ultimately succeed in their respective tasks. Keeping in mind these benefits, Executing on 3D Exchange platform allows enterprises to have high rate of accuracy and precision than ever before, 
low cost of projects, high productivity, and there's the highest rate of success. And this is possible because it offers seamless communication, collaboration across teams, acting as a universal language to achieve common goals of projects by empowering them with centralized, connected, and up-to-date data that will help them to execute projects to its perfection under budget and on time. And this was demonstrated today by capitalizing SWIM communities to discuss unstructured data, unstructured discussions, and transform them into idea and further into a project and product. Real-time up-to-date projects and plans for our program managers and project managers who are able to access the latest up-to-date plan even though they were getting enriched every second, every minute by different sets of data. Multi-device access to high level KPIs for our program managers and project managers anywhere, anytime online. And one platform for all. One platform with apps that adapts to different person's needs to execute tasks with agility. With, with all this keep in mind, the, the message we want to share is, we need to remember no matter how big or long the disruptions are, life must go on. In the same manner, irrespective of business constraints we encounter, projects must go on to ensure that business must go on. And for that, we have 3D Experience Platform with its, with its powerful project planning and project management applications that will help you to deliver projects on time, under budget, by leveraging a real-time online experience. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sida and the team for doing such an excellent uh, demonstration. I hope you enjoyed the demo as much as I did. It's true, life must go on, project must go on, and business must go on. Okay, uh, here there are really some things I see it's so excited. Now I'd like to ask my colleague uh, for many years, uh, Fan Batong. Uh, he is my go-to person for all technology questions. He is a, really an early adopter of technology. Patong has been in the industry for more than 35 years in the engineering industry, helping companies to adopt technologies. Good morning, Patong. Good morning. Morning, Sharon. <laughs> Hey, morning. Hey, I know that some people, you know, I saw the audience, some of them came in, uh, you know, after we greet them in the morning. Uh, so welcome once again, everybody. Okay, Batong, I'd like to ask you a question because I understand that you started with Dassault System when SolidWorks was really a small startup. Can you share with us how was working with your team like at that point of time? Okay, um, but before uh, before I answer you this question, I would like to thank uh, Sidat, uh, Maximilian, and Alexandro for uh, um, running this presentation. Uh, okay, we start uh, we start the Southwest operation in Asia about twenty years ago. Oh my God, I feel old. Uh, that time we were uh, only uh, three of us sitting on um, service office. Uh, the room was the four by three. Uh, we all talk over the phone, answering, discuss, have discussion. We we actually we uh, we we talk uh, we talk about uh, arrangement uh, business uh, all in the same room. So we we actually didn't hide anything, and uh, everything we need to know, we need to share. We all talk three of us, so it was quite easy at that oh. time. Wow, that's good, right? When you are small, in the same office, we can share information freely, openly. There is no communication lack. Okay, but how about, I mean, over the years, like you say 20 years, how has that changed over the years for you in your daily work now that you are in a much bigger company? <laughs> yeah. And big team, uh, yeah? Yes, uh, at that time, we spent time working from home as well. Um, now the team's getting much bigger. We have uh, many more offices around in Asia and the team get bigger. Um, we, we, our challenge is to make sure that everyone in the team is aware of project or campaign that we're running. And everyone needs to be on the same page. That's the challenge. 
And for a project or a presentation that we prepare for customer, we want the, the, the 3D model, the assembly, the part that uh, everyone involved that is shared and they see the same thing and they know exactly what everyone's doing. That's the challenge to share this kind of things with everyone. Mm. Okay, so Batong, I know that uh, you know in the last few months uh, you have been interacting with our customers. Uh, you know what are the main issues faced by companies today, uh, especially due to COVID nineteen. Okay, so with the COVID nineteen and the city has been locked down, we're going back and work from home. Uh, but our teams now it uh, it's from everywhere. It's from Singapore, Malaysia, Australia. How to put them all the time in the same phase and knowing the same information, sharing the same data is very challenging. We cannot meet people in one place uh, and uh, online collaboration become uh, a necessary tool that we need to have. Projects still going on because we have a lot of customer in the medical device, in the health industry. They need actually to pump up their service and production. So then, then we, they need also help from us as well. And we need to share information with customer. We need to share information between ourselves. Um, so we, we turn to online tools. Mm. Wow, that's exactly like what we saw in the demo, right? We have three people doing three separate roles using one system, 3D experience. And I see that the design is shared with the project manager and the program manager. Wow, this is so cool. I think, uh, uh, Baton, can you just take us through, uh, you know, a little bit more about how can three people doing three different roles using the same, you know, platform? Yes. Okay. Um, let's, there's one thing I want to share with, with, with uh, if we have, we have customer and prospect that listen to us. 3D experience is the tool that not only we propose to customer, but the tool that we use ourselves. Those tools that you see is the tool that I and my team members actually use every day. We use, uh, we use project planners, we use the project management, all those tools we use the, for people across the across different uh, line of uh, work from sales, technical and marketing as well. Um, any data, any, any design that we prepare for our prospect customer, we share on the platform as well, MNC. Um, there's one tool that uh, we also leverage a lot, uh, especially the marketing tool is the social business analytics. So we will see what is the trend in the market. And then from there, then we feed back to all the rest of the team, but through, through the same platform, through the temporary experience, uh, different tools, but it's all the, the 3D experience is the platform that connect all the tools that are used by different uh, line of uh, work of uh, our team members. Mm, thank you, thank you, Bato. Hey, Bato, we have. Yes. You got some more to say? You got some more to add? Sorry. <laughs> I will say that uh, everyone contribute, and uh, we have that stream community that looks like a Facebook. But Facebook for professional, where we can share picture, design data, things that we find on the internet that we share with the whole team, uh, so they would know where where are we and uh, what information we we get from from the market. Mm -mm. Wow, <clears throat> I really like that. You know, because uh, um, I really like uh, what you say about having the community be involved early during the design process and getting all the stakeholder. To be aware of what the pro, uh, <clears throat> where the project is, so that each of them can do you know their part without having to wait for everything to finish. So okay, uh, Baton, we really have some question coming from our audience. Thank you everybody for putting in the question. Uh, I really happy that uh, this uh, session is a uh, is uh, beneficial to you. Okay, the first question we have here is that uh, you know there is a dashboard uh, shown during the demo. Uh, can I ask, uh, is, is it customizable, the dashboard? Uh, uh, as a user, can I customize it or do I need administrator rights? Uh, Baton, okay. can you take this question? Yeah. Yeah, I take this question as well. Uh, dashboard is customizable. Uh, as you can see during the, using the presentation, see that he customized uh, the own dashboard for himself. He shared that dashboard as well. 
dashboard can be customized on the project base or you customize for your daily use. For I, I personally, I will pull up, uh, I create my own dashboard with different tab. I will bring on the data that I need to see every day and I bring the, the roles or the application that I need to use every day. You can customize this and then share with uh, your team members. Mm, so you I don't need, need any administrator, any right, right? No, okay. you don't need any administrator. Oh, so anybody can customize and I can share with my team? Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, there, there's another question. Uh, you know, just now the poll, uh, the poll, sorry, I didn't uh, 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 share the results uh, with everybody. It was a 50-50 split. Uh, you know, 50% of the audience here use a, a, a project management software. So, okay, the question uh, by our audience is this. What is the difference between 3D experience and other project management software? Batong, you, can you take this question, please? Okay, I take this as well. Okay, if you, if you, you, you want to go on the cloud, but you don't have to do experience, so what do you have is you're going to combine the tools that you use, for example, Monday.com, uh, Slack, Microsoft Office 365, and then other tools uh, like Content Central or Softworks, so each tool are different, and then you don't see it. You have to jump from one window to another window to have this. Where 2D experience is, you have everything within the single platform. So you access to one single page on the cloud, which is actually you go to the web with the browser like Chrome, and you have access to all these tools in one single location. That is the beauty of 2D experience platform. It's connect the mm. dot, it connect all the application together, and the data flow from one application to another application seamlessly. Wow, especially the 3D design, right? Together. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, we have another question uh, uh, talking about budget. How, uh, where, and when is the budget assigned? How do, how are okay. you tracking the budget? Uh, Batong, okay. Sorry, yeah, I'm giving okay. you all the very difficult question. Uh, that one, uh, okay, and when it comes to project management and talking about budget, budget actually have different, um, the, the film angle from the budget. Budget is about human resource, how many day, how many hours engineer you spend on. Budget is about investment, what kind of hardware you need, what do you need to purchase. So budget is about money you spend on buying materials, all those. So we manage the budget in a different level, but still within the platform. So first of all, if you use the project planning tool, you would know how many uh, day of work by engineer that you need and where, when and where you need, uh, you know, someday you may need three or four resources, but someday you need less. So you manage that with the project planning tool, but also uh, other uh, investment or other uh, budget type like uh, a dollar point, you know, a dollar things that you invest, you can manage in different way. Either for those familiar with the Excel Excel document, you can have this Excel document uh, stored in the 3D drive, and then you can pull that uh, Excel file into your project planning as an attachment or deliverable when the project is complete. You also can, if those familiar more with uh, those the Google Google document, you can work with the Google Sheet, and then uh, you can pull it uh, with the, through another app to have this this uh, uh, kind of like uh, table to display within your platform as well. So we have all these tools available for you to manage different level human resource and also the dollars uh, how you manage with the platform and then how you can monitor uh, the resource that you spend and uh, that, that keep you within the budget, help you to wow. keep the budget. Okay, Batong, that's so useful for startup, especially when we are a small company, we don't have a sophisticated system. I think if we can integrate into our own costing, uh, you know, that we use, it will be super useful. Okay, now uh, maybe I, I know time is the essence, uh, Okay, I have one last question, and this question I would like to uh, actually uh, post it to Josephine. Josephine, uh, the question coming uh, from our audience is this, what are the type of training 
uh, do you provide uh, on uh, for new new users who wants to use three D experience on the on the cloud? Mm. Sure, 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 Sharon. Thank you. Um, it, this is a very good questions. So, well, um, we virtualize all our training so that it is so easy for our users to assess them online and also on the cloud. And it's also to make them available 24 by 7. So, for all the new users, we will actually organize a personalized onboarding and it will be done by none other than our own industry product consultants. So, um, they, they will actually guide our users on how to start their projects using our cloud platform. So we will also be inviting the users to a communities, uh, which Patong has shared earlier, and where, whereby the users can post any questions there. And we will have our global team from um, every uh, our global expert from every topics to support you. And because it's on the cloud, you can actually access to the best resources from that the source systems directly to support you. So our purpose is to be able to directly engage with yourself, our users, and also customers. So I hope um, it answered to the question. Yes, <clears throat> this is so good. Yeah, I think uh, it's so uh, amazing that now uh, Dassault system is making uh, their expertise available to any customers uh, who use our product on the cloud. And uh, it's so exciting that they can belong to a community with all the experts in hand. Okay, so uh, Josephine, do you have something else for our audience uh, today? before we say goodbye to them. <coughs> Yep, yep, sure, sure. Uh, yeah, just just before I end, uh, thanks, Sharon. Just before I end, I do have some resources that I would like to share with all the audience here, which I think it's uh, very informative. And um, if you're interested to know more, uh, just drop me an email to josephine.chan at 3ds.com. You can actually see my um, email address on the screen right now. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Josephine. Thank you Hong, very much uh, for joining me here. And I want to thank everybody for taking time to uh, attend this uh, webinar with us. Uh, so if you have any question pertaining to uh, uh, design or even project management and so on, do drop us a line. Uh, send, you can send the email to josephine.chan at 3ds.com. Or uh, if you want to uh, be connected to us and know more about uh, Dassault system, you know, do subscribe to our uh, channel and then we will be in contact with you or look out for our LinkedIn. Okay, with that, thank you very much. Have a blessed day ahead of you and I wish you all the best. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Thanks, everyone. Bye -bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.